What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm actually going to be doing a requested video. So this video was requested by Always Jordan. Thank you so much for the video suggestion. If you guys have any more, definitely leave them in a comment below. But she suggested that I do a video about my guinea pig supplies and all of the guinea pig things that I have. So that's just what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you where and how I store all my guinea pig stuff and what all I have. So this is currently where I am storing all my guinea pig stuff and it is actually in my closet because I have kind of like a small walk-in closet so I have room and um because my guinea pigs are in my room so it's just convenient to have all of the stuff in this closet and yeah so let's just take a closer look so if i give you a little overview here you can see that my guinea pigs have pretty much taken over my entire closet so i have some stuff all over there on the floor and then back here i have a shelf that is full of guinea pig stuff and then the top of the shelf has more stuff and then up there on that shelf is even more stuff so if we ooh, I just ran into the wall. <laughs> if we start down on the floor over here, um, I really like to stack up on my guinea pig stuff, especially when the ones get colder. It's nice to just have a lot stacked up. So as you can see over here, I have three guinea pig pellet bags saved up. So these are the pellets that I currently use. They're the KT Timothy Complete pellets. So I have three of those, and then right next to them I have the hay that I'm currently using. I kind of go back and forth between a couple different kinds of hay or like brands of hay. It's kind of just whatever is in stock. I buy my stuff at Petco, but right now this is the KT Timothy Complete All Natural Wafer Cut. Um, yeah, they're both like that. So I have two of those saved up. And then over here, I have two big things of litter. This is the litter that I currently have. It's by So Fresh, and that is just the, um, I think it's Petco's brand, and it's the Natural Softwood All Animal Bedding. And I have the huge one. It's the four cubic feet, 113.3 liters of guinea pig litter. It's huge, and they're really heavy. <laughs> I moved the litters out of the way so we can get to the shelf, but before we do that, over here in the back corner, I have this pet carrying case, and I put them in this, A, when I'm transporting them, like if I'm taking them outside to be on the grass for a while in the summer, I'll take them out in this, or if I'm like cleaning their cage or doing anything like that, I'll put them in this, so that's what I use that for, and then, this underneath it is actually a litter box, like a cat litter box, that my mom cut a like opening into. And don't worry, um, we sanded down the edges. I know they look like scary, <laughs> but we sanded down the edges so that they're not sharp, so that they won't get hurt on them, like they're not sharp at all. But when I have them out of my bed for lap time, I'll just put like some blankets in here to make it all soft and cozy and then put them in here so that I can pet them on my bed. And then back here is the shelf. This is just an old bookshelf that I had and now I use it for guinea pig stuff. So down here on the very bottom, this is the box that I got them in. Um, I don't know why I still have that to be honest, but that's okay. And then on the very bottom, I have um, this extra vitamin C drops. I actually don't put vitamin C drops in their water anymore, but I used to put them in there, and I kind of forgot that I have another one down here, so maybe I'll use it. And then I also just have an extra water bottle down here. Just this blue plastic water bottle, but I like to use the glass one better because it's just nicer. So I have that back there just in case I ever need it. And then over here, I just have this fence. So this is actually like a hamster fence. We didn't realize when we got it that it was going to be like this 
small it's really like a really tiny area but I just connect it to my other fence so I still use it and then speaking of my other fence I forgot to show you over here this is the fence that I use um, it's the all living things exercise pen and this one isn't really that much room either if you're gonna get this I would recommend getting like two or maybe even three if you want them to have a really big area to like play in during floor time or outside because it's really not that big of an area but I just connect it to like the colorful one and it's a little bit better and then up here I have this really big towel or like not towel like blanket type thing and I put this on the floor when I get them out for floor time so that's what that's for and then over here I just have a bunch of these extra um, ties for hay because I break them really easily so I keep extras in case one breaks and then I also have an extra close bin but not sure why <laughs> and then this is one of the toys I have for them I think I got this from PetSmart and it's just like little wood thing with the ball in the middle but they don't really like it that much to be honest and then I also have an extra paper to or a, yeah toilet paper roll because they devour these um, they absolutely devour these I can't remember if I included this in my DIY uh, guinea pig toy video or not but I did this thing with them before where I put two paper cups on the floor with a piece of veggies underneath and they had to try to like flip the cup over to get the veggies they loved it so I definitely recommend doing that with your guinea pigs and this shelf up here I just have a bunch of extra towels so I have this extra fleece that I still have from when they were on fleece and I just have this just in case I ever need it and then over here I have a bunch of rags so I have like old um washcloths and just a bunch of old rags that I use for various different things over here this is an extra the one I'm currently using is like on the top shelf but this is the habitat cleaner that I use to clean their cage it's by so fresh and then back here I just have an extra food bowl which is just a red one and then on the top shelf is like kind of the stuff that I'm currently using just because it's like easy access so this is my current bag of pellets, my current hay that I'm using, and then like I said this is my current um, cleaner. And then back here in the corner I just have a bag of alfalfa hay, alfalfa mini bale, um, because they love alfalfa hay. So I give it to them sometimes as a tree, I'll just like mix it in with their regular hay. And then last but not least up on this very top shelf I just have like cage accessories and different stuff like that or like stuff I use during floor time so over here I have two tissue boxes because they absolutely love tissue boxes so what I do is I just like of course I, I take this plastic bit off and then I will take the sides off so that it becomes like a tunnel and they love it they love going through it and chewing on it and then here I have this big green tunnel that expands out like if you pull on the ends it expands and it <laughs> expands out really far so I use that for floor time and then as you can see they've like completely chewed it off and then um, this is a complete mess because it's really hard to clean off like the material of it it's just really hard to get hair and litter off of it so sorry for how it looks but this is like a forest I'll show you that's what it said on the packaging. <laughs> it's like a fleece forest, so you like tie it to the bars of their cage and then they can hide in it. And then underneath I just have this other little tunnel that they're kind of too big to fit through to be honest. Like whenever Luna goes in there she like headbutts it because it's too, too short. And then they just end up flipping it over so I don't really put it in there that much, but sometimes I do. And then over here I have this other little tunnel. It's like one of those tunnels that like opens and closes and stuff. Underneath that I just have this little fleece bed. A lot of this you guys have probably seen in like other videos, but I'll show you anyway. And then over here this is just um, a little tunnel that my mom actually made for them. So it just has like cardboard on the inside and then if you lay it out flat it has like a part that they can go through and then underneath that I just have this hay rack 
that I got when I first bought them, but they don't even use a hay rack anymore. Or, well, like, not this kind. I have, like, a hammock that I put hay in, so, yeah, I don't use that anymore. But, yeah, that is all of my guinea pig stuff, so I'll give you another overview. There's that shelf. Then my bookshelf full of stuff. And then all of this stuff on the floor. And like I said, I, um... I took the litter out. The litter's over there now. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that was my guinea pig storage, all the stuff that I have for my guinea pigs and where I keep it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and subscribe for more if you did. Don't forget to hit the little bell as well so that you'll get notified when I post. Also, leave a comment down below and like the video. And all my social medias are linked in the description box. And on that note, I will see you all in my next video.